everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to cement an expander. So we've got a RME here today and we're at CCC Smiles in my practice in Mossman. I've got a scaler. We'll be removing the spacers that have been put in here for this uh, young little eight-year-old and um, that's the expander. So I'm going to start first by removing the separators. So these spacers were placed and we're going to remove them to create space first. Okay. The next step before you cement is always to try it on. So we've got a two banded RME with the rest on the D's. It's a mixed dentition Hyrax RME. So it's like trying a shoe on and we're going to get a little help here. And so we're going to just place it, okay? And literally it's fitting beautifully. I don't even have to get her to bite down on it. And I can see that the fit is quite good, okay? So remember the surface, inner surfaces are sandblasted. So you have to be careful not to get it too moist. And if you do, you wanna dry it. Cotton roll, make sure it's quite dry and not contaminated. What we're using here is OptiBan Ultra. It's a GIC cement, which is blue in color, so easy to remove and um, it's light cured GIC. So we're going to isolate the two teeth together. So we're going to actually put some cotton rolls or you can use retractors, but I prefer cotton rolls because we're going to get some help here for biting. So we're going to get started now, okay? And we're going to keep this really nice and dry while we put the little glue on it. Remember I said we're going to put some glue? You ready? Okay, so open a bit wider, hun. That's good. Now you can pumice the sixes beforehand if you think that there is plaque or biofilm just open for me honey so you have to now stay open for us so keeping it isolated and dry good girl wow wow really good so now I've got it really isolated and dry stay really still open really wide try not to move your tongue too much that's it. I told you it's gonna taste a little bit sour. Okay, so go bite hard for me, honey. Bite really hard. Good, open again. Bite hard here. Go bite hard or chomp down. Good, open again. Bite hard. Good, open again. Bite hard. Really hard. Good, open again. Bite hard. Go, go squeeze and open again. Bite hard and open again. So I'm going to verify with my mirror now whether it has been placed correctly. Now this is a little bit okay with a tiny bit of moisture. I think I want to see if the distal end um, open for me now. Bite hard. Good girl. So I'm trying to see if the distal end's a bit. Bite hard. Good girl. Open for me. Good girl. Okay. Nice and still. And now I am light curing this, this cement on the bands. You can see that it's a very quick procedure. The main thing is if it fits this well, so can you get a close up to see how well this is fitting? Open a bit wider, hun. Okay, you're doing great. We're gonna do a little bit more of this. So can you continue curing, please? So we're gonna do a Good girl. So we're going to make sure we cure enough all around the band. Okay. 
okay both bands and make sure you go around and round the whole ring because if you don't cure completely you might get failures So that's a great fit. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching. And I've got another YouTube video about instructions. And now we're going to start turning this. I'm going to show how to turn that. Thank you. Bye.